Camera enthusiasts are eagerly anticipating Nikon's rumored upcoming release, the Z5 Mark II. This model is expected to be the successor to the Z5, which debuted in 2020. The Z5 II is rumored to bring several notable upgrades, continuing Nikon's tradition of offering high-quality cameras at an affordable price. In this video, we'll dive into the rumors and potential features of the Z5 II. The Z5's robust magnesium alloy chassis with weather sealing was a standout feature for an entry-level camera. It's likely that the Z5 Mark II will maintain this build quality, ensuring durability in various shooting conditions. The ergonomics are expected to remain similar, with some refinements based on user feedback. An interesting point of speculation is whether the Z5 II will retain the dual SD card slots from the Z5. While dual slots were a surprise in the Z5, removing one could reduce the camera's size and cost, making it more competitive with other entry-level full-frame models from Sony and Canon. The Z5 Mark II is rumored to feature a high-quality electronic viewfinder with approximately 3.69 million dots, potentially matching or surpassing the Z5's already impressive EVF. The rear LCD is expected to be a 3.2-inch tilting touchscreen, offering flexibility for shooting from various angles. One of the most anticipated upgrades is in the camera's core. The Z5 II is rumored to feature the same 24.5 megapixel FX format BSI CMOS sensor found in the Nikon Z6 Mark II. This is a significant upgrade from the Z5's 24.3 megapixel CMOS sensor as the back illuminated design offers improved light gathering capabilities and potentially better low light performance. The camera is also expected to come with the XSpeed 6 image processor, providing enhanced processing speed and image quality. This combination could also offer a wider native ISO range. Video enthusiasts have much to look forward to as well. The Z5 Mark II is expected to offer 4K video at 60 frames per second. Unlike the Z5, which was limited by a 1.5 times crop factor in 4K mode, the Z5 II is anticipated to deliver 4K 60p without cropping. There are also rumors about the ability to record 10-bit video externally, a significant boost for serious videographers and content creators. A major improvement is expected in the autofocus system. While the original Z5 featured a 273-point hybrid autofocus system, the Z5 Mark II is rumored to receive a substantial upgrade in this area. This could include an increase in the number of focus points, improved tracking capabilities, and enhanced subject recognition for people, animals, and even vehicles. The Z5 introduced Nikon's 5-axis in-body image stabilization to its entry-level full-frame line, offering up to five stops of shake reduction. While it's unclear if the Z5 II will improve on this feature, Maintaining IBIS would be a welcome inclusion for photographers who shoot in challenging conditions or with slower shutter speeds. Like its predecessor, the Z5 II will likely feature built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for easy image transfer and remote control via the Nikon SnapBridge app. We might see improvements in connection stability and transfer speeds. Battery life is always a concern for mirrorless cameras, and users hope to see improvements here. The Z5 offered around 470 shots per charge, so any increase would be appreciated. The exact pricing for the Nikon Z5 II remains a mystery, with speculations placing it within the range of $1,500 to $2,000. This price point would strategically position the Z5 Mark II as a strong competitor in the mid-range full-frame mirrorless market directly challenging other popular models like the Sony A7 Mark II and the Canon EOS R8. Both of these cameras are well regarded for their performance and features, so Nikon's pricing strategy will be crucial in attracting buyers who are looking for a camera that balances advanced capabilities with affordability. The rumored price range suggests that Nikon aims to cater to both enthusiast photographers and semi-professionals who want high-end features without the premium price tag of flagship models. If the Z5 II indeed offers the expected enhancements, such as a superior sensor, 
improved autofocus, and better video capabilities, at this price, it could deliver exceptional value, making it an enticing option for those seeking to upgrade from entry-level models or even from older full-frame cameras. In terms of timing, Nikon's regular release schedule hints that the Z52 might be unveiled in the fourth quarter of 2024, just in time for the holiday season. This would be a strategic move, allowing Nikon to capitalize on the year-end surge in consumer spending, as photographers and content creators look to invest in new gear. The timing also suggests that Nikon is aiming to ensure the Z52 is well-positioned to capture the attention of both existing Nikon users and those considering switching from other brands. If the rumors hold true, the release of the Z52 in Q4 of 2024 could be a significant event for the camera industry, potentially shaking up the competitive landscape. Nikon's ability to deliver a camera that meets the high expectations set by these rumors while keeping the price within the speculated range could solidify its position as a leader in the mirrorless market. Enthusiasts and professionals alike will likely be keeping a close watch on any official announcements as the year progresses, eagerly awaiting the chance to see how the Z52 will stack up against its rivals. The Nikon Z52 stands out as a significant upgrade from the already impressive Z5, positioning itself as a strong contender in the full-frame mirrorless camera market. With the rumored enhancements, such as an improved sensor, faster and more accurate autofocus, and upgraded video capabilities, the Z52 is shaping up to be a versatile tool for both photographers and videographers alike. The improved sensor, likely to offer better low-light performance and a broader dynamic range, means that users can expect sharper images with richer details, even in challenging lighting conditions. This alone makes the Z52 an attractive option for those who prioritize image quality. Additionally, the rumored advancements in autofocus technology could transform the shooting experience offering faster and more reliable focus, particularly in dynamic environments where quick and precise focusing is essential. For videographers, the Z52's potential to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second without a crop factor is a game changer. This capability, combined with the possibility of 10-bit external recording, opens new creative possibilities for content creators who demand high-quality video output. Whether you're capturing fast-paced action scenes or producing cinematic content, the Z52 could provide the flexibility and quality needed to produce professional-grade videos. The continuation of Nikon's commitment to robust build quality, with features like weather sealing and in-body image stabilization, ensures that the Z52 will be durable and reliable in various shooting conditions. Whether you're shooting in harsh weather or in low-light environments, the Z52 is expected to perform consistently, giving photographers the confidence to push their creative boundaries. Moreover, the anticipated improvements in connectivity and battery life could enhance the overall user experience, making the Z52 not only powerful, but also practical for everyday use. The ability to quickly transfer images and control the camera remotely via improved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features, along with potentially longer battery life, adds to the convenience and efficiency of this camera. In summary, the Nikon Z52 is shaping up to be an excellent investment for those looking to step into professional-level photography and videography, or for existing users considering an upgrade. With its expected enhancements in sensor quality, autofocus, video features, and overall performance, the Z52 could be a formidable tool in any creative's arsenal. If you're weighing your options for 20, 24, the Nikon Z52 is definitely a camera worth keeping on your radar. So that's all about the upcoming Nikon Z52. Do let us know what you think about this. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.